Now let's talk about hooks. Hooks come in various sizes and various shapes. There's also a treble hook. It's got three hooks on it. I don't talk about those because I don't really use those. Now, these big hooks, like this one and this one, are for large fish, okay? This one has already been attached to an egg sinker to bring the fish down. We use this for trolling ballyhoo or Spanish mackerel. Now, this one is a bait hook and it's a circle hook. And we use this for a lot of bigger fish, such as amberjack, such as bluefin tuna. Now, this is just a standard, ordinary hook with nothing really special about it, but its shape is the kind that we use most of the time. Now, this hook here is a drum hook. It's got an offset shank, and that's a typical uh, shape of it. Now, this is another circle hook. Just like this is a circle hook, this is a circle hook, and if you see, this has got an offset shank. Now, what's the advantage of the offset shank? Usually, the fish gets hooked right in the corner of the mouth, and all you do is shake it a couple times, and the hook falls out. Now, this is an English hook, or a uh, half circle hook, and it is designed primarily to catch flounder, and it does an excellent job of doing that. Now, you can buy these hooks just the way they are, or what you should do when you're first starting is buy these things, they're all rigged up, so you don't have to do anything but attach them to your line. This is a Cayley hook, or a half bake hook, and it goes on about three feet of monofilament line with a bunch of bells and whistles on it. And then we put a piece of bait on the end of here to drift with. It works great on flounder. Now let's go to the opposite end, okay? These are some of these great big hooks that we showed you a minute ago. This is on a braided wire cable, and this is what we use for sharks. Now, we've shown you the extremes, now let's show you what's usual. What usually we do is we use, this is called a high-low rig or a spreader rig because it spreads the two lines apart. Now, I want you to pay special attention to how this pre-snelled hook is wrapped around with the attachment right here. Why? Well, it sticks the line and the wire and the hook out away from the body of the spreader rig. Now we check again and we look, and this one has been tied straight on to the end of the hook, and where does it hang? It hangs straight down, which will easily get wrapped around your other tackle and be less, uh, less important presentation to the fish. Now there are specific items that you use for very specific occasions, and when you go to a tackle shop, they're not going to sell you something you don't need, but if you tell them what you want to do, they will help you and they'll sell you some of the items that you need. For example, this right here is called a fish finder rig. You put your sinker on this end and the line goes through this little hole and you have your bait back here. So you can cast this out your weight is going to stay pretty much the same place, but the line can drift with the current or the tide. It's called a fish finder rig, and it's very, very important for catching a lot of fish when your boat is anchored. Now this is a snap swivel, <coughs> and the purpose of this is to put it on the end of your line so you can change rigs. If you're going to have something off the end of it, you can change them real fast from one to another. This has a uh, just round swivel that turns in such a way that your line will not twist. It's very effective and it's relatively inexpensive. Now, I'm showing you this for a purpose. This is a ball bearing swivel. This costs about three, four dollars a piece. You don't need these to start with, but they're available 
So make sure you get a difference between a barrel swivel and a ball bearing swivel. Now, this is also another swivel, but this is a three-way swivel. It's primarily used with a wire line going to one, a sinker going down from the other one, and out here goes back to your bait so that your sinker is away from your lure. The last little special piece here is simply a barrel swivel. Now a barrel swivel is designed so that your line will not twist. If you got a spinning rod, this will help you not, not twist while you're casting and retrieving a lure. If you got live bait out there, it will let the fish swim around without twisting up all your line. Works very well. Two other things that are important, one of which is a file because you've always got to get sharp hooks. You don't have to go get a real expensive one at a tackle shop. Go to a hardware store and just simply get a file so you can put a good point on every hook. And the last thing I want to mention about tackle is if you're filleting fish, if you're using live bait, so you can't get finned or cut your hand, always, always clean fish with one of these wire mesh gloves. The Charter Boat Captains of North Carolina's Outer Banks have spent decades learning the tricks of their trade, the best fishing locations, best bait, and best tackle to use. Now these fishermen reveal their secrets during interviews with Dr. Jim. See action footage proving they know what they're talking about. Also included insider tips and techniques of surf fishing.